David, when we're perusing the, uh, the aisles and byways here of AOPA 2013, we're always looking for the cool stuff, the interesting stuff. But of course, being aviation geeks as well as video geeks, we see this and we kind of go, well, huh? So David, basically, well, huh? Thank you, Jim. Uh, basically, uh, my background is I was a news photographer for 15 years, and I've also been a pilot, and I like crisp, sharp images, and I wanted to combine the two. And my wife and I were doing a bucket list trip up to Alaska, and we wanted to mount a camera on the outside of the aircraft so we'd have a nice, clean, unobstructed shot of the Mount McKinley. And that led to this project because it turned out so well, we figured other people fly and like photography. We realized we'd have to do a FAA certification. And that was going to be a long and expensive process. So we figured if we're going to do that, why not mount four cameras, one pointing in each direction. And we standardized to start with on these little GoPro cameras. We went through an aerodynamics program and a design program. It happens that I have a cousin that was a VP of military aircraft at Boeing that runs an aerospace machine shop, and so we came up with a design. And the idea is there's a metal plate that stays on the aircraft, and this pod, which is made of a blend of plastic that's resistant to avgas and all the things you find, and it goes on the belly of an aircraft. It's got four quarter-turn cam locks. You can put in one, two, three, or four cameras. It's real simple. You just drop them in. The cameras have Wi-Fi in them, or you can just turn them on and go make your flight. And when you land, you get to enjoy the flight all over again. What's the availability? What's the cost? What's the process like to install it on an aircraft? Basically, the available right now, the STC that we've got currently covers pretty much all the aluminum-skinned aircraft, from Cessna 150s to CJ jets, Pipers, Beaches, Pilatus pretty much anything that you can think of. If it's part 23 and it's metal, we're expanding that to include composite aircraft like the Cirruses and everything else that's out there. And the pod with one of the GoPro cameras costs a whole $1,600 with the STC, comes well documented for your installer. It'll take four to eight hours, depending on your shop and how good your guy is, to put it on your aircraft. And then you go fly and for the rest of your ownership of that plane, you've got awesome video opportunities. Now, did I see a software application that allowed you to play with your results of what you were able to shoot and it's GPS correlated? That's exactly right. It's something that we're just showing here for the very first time anywhere, and it basically puts up a Google map on one side and a video viewer on the other, and you can switch between which camera. So you can drag a marker any place along your flight path if you kept a GPS track, and it instantly plays a video from that point, and then you can switch from the front camera back left and right, and it's just huge fun. Where do you go from here with this? There are actually a lot of things. There's more software applications, like you could go to the part you want and we'll let you just clip that video and put it on YouTube. There's additional hardware. We're working with Garmin because they've just released a camera and we'll be doing a pod for that. There's a possibility of an IR sensor in the front. Whole lot of things, hardwiring it into some of the larger aircraft so you can operate off ship's power and have HD video in the cabin for people to enjoy. I appreciate your time and look forward to seeing what you come up with next. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jim. Aero TV is brought to you by Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration.